What is going on, you guys? I want to talk to you today about the top 10 possible uh, reprints in X-Wing 2.0. And uh, so what I'm talking about here is in X-Wing 2.0, you know, they're remaking a lot of the uh, ships. Some of them, they're improving the design. They've improved the Y-Wing. Uh, they've improved the T-65 X-Wing with movable S-foils. Uh, and so I'm putting together a list of like, well, the top 10 kind of like wish list what, what could they improve upon that's in the game right now? Because we all kind of expect that we're going to have to rebuy a lot of these ships anyway. Even though the conversion kit's going to cover everything that we have now, it only stands to reason that eventually, you know, uh, 12 months from now when they come up with like maybe one of the last, you know, wave one ship reprints, there's going to be something in there to make you want to buy it. So... If it's not expansion cards, if it's not upgrades, maybe it'll be redesigns. And I think they're going to want to redesign a lot of these to make them improved and to fix a lot of mistakes. So with that being said, I'm not including stuff that we already kind of know about. Like I'm not including the T-65 X-Wing on there um, because we already know that that is here. I'm not including the Y-Wing because we already know that that is here. Um, and so, so for those, um, I also am not including the Slave 1 because they've kind of already showed that and they didn't mention that there was anything new on it, like moving, moving pieces or anything. So um, I think that one's kind of already out. So uh, starting at number 10, uh, I'm going to say the ARC-170. Granted, there's nothing wrong with the ARC-170. It's like a, it's a beautiful sculpt. It's one of the best um, that they have done. However... Why is it on this list? Then you're saying, well, you know, yeah. well, because it's a little lower on the list. And the reason is, if they've done moving S foils for the X Wing, maybe they can improve on darn near perfection and make these guys have their movable S foils as well. Because then you take something that's already amazing and make it even better. Not sure if that's really going to happen, but uh, can you imagine? Like, you know, take they actually open and close like that? That'd be really, really cool. Uh, and especially with an ARC 170s being a, a, an expansion that already has, you know, no you um, no generic ships, so you, it's not like you're going to have that many, so why would you even want to buy another one? Maybe you've already got four, and you're like, why am I going to buy another ARC 170? I can't field anymore. Well, if they give you a new model, then maybe, maybe you would. Um, next up at number nine is the Lambda. Now, the Lambda is a little lower on my list, but it's still on here. Um, the Lambda was the first ship to have moving parts, so that counts for a lot. It does count for a lot. I think uh, the Lambda was great. Now, the, the problem is the design was a little imperfect on those wings. Like, they, you couldn't get them to go down all the way, and it almost, like, a lot of people broke their Lambdas trying to get them to go down all the way. It, it, was, it, it was their first time trying to do it. They've gotten better at doing stuff like this, so I think they could definitely improve this. And also, the sculpt itself was pretty early in the game. It leaves a little bit to be desired. Like, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Lambda itself. It was the only sculpt I looked at, and I was just like, oh, okay. You know, it's, it's, it's you know, granted, it's not like a super complex ship to begin with, but there was just something about, I don't know if it was the paint or some of the detailing in there that just left a little bit to be desired. So I feel like they could probably do better. I feel like they could do better with the Lambda. Next up, uh, the Hound's Tooth. I, I think the Hound's Tooth might end up being uh, made a little larger. Uh, a lot of people have complained that the Hound's Tooth could have been epic, um, and and that they had to scale it down to make it fit into this uh, into this game. And this was one of those ships that people really argued about. Now, the sculpt itself is good. Now, the wings, the maneuvering fins, maybe they'll make those move. Again, not everything on this list has to be moving parts. Um, but the thing is, if they at least made it to where you could, you know, fit a, you know, uh, a Z95 in there, then, then, you know, granted, it might, it might force it to become big, but the figure, the fact that they've got three different base sizes now, I think they can get away with putting something on a large base and making it really large. They can make this maybe, you know, 33% larger than it is potentially. Um, and if not this, then maybe... You know, maybe they package it with the Z95 with folding wings, you know, because that was the whole, all right, yeah, yeah, the Z95, you know, it, it, it folds the wings, okay, we're fine, you know, the, you know, the Nash to Pup. So, again, a, a couple of things they could do with this one to make it have some more appeal, because a lot of people aren't going to necessarily need more 
YV666. So, you know, I, I think that could be something, you know, this is one that you, if you really improve it, you'll get people to go buy another one. Next up, the Thai Advanced Prototype. I've always hated this ship because of that silly, stupid title controversy, and I'm glad that'll be probably one thing that we can put to rest with this whole, um, you know, I might actually fly the TIE Advanced Prototype again once two, once it comes out in 2.0, but, um, but what could they improve on? Because this one's actually already a pretty good sculpt. Well, this one actually does have folding wings. The wings uh, collapse in uh, pretty much all the way uh, when this thing lands, and granted, it might not necessarily be the most important, but you know, there's not that many TIE fighters that do have moving parts. So if you wanted to improve on a TIE fighter, here would be one that you could you could improve upon. The other thing is, um, this was one of those ships that people, not everybody needed to buy multiples of. You'd only had the Inquisitor that was really worth flying, in my opinion. In my opinion, none of the other pilots are worth taking. And uh, some of you will disagree with that. That's fine. I understand. Uh, but that's my opinion. That's why I'm saying it's just, and I'm just a dude in a chair. So, um, but I'm, I'm, and, and I back it up by saying I've only ever seen people fly the Inquisitor. I, one time I think I saw some dude flying Valen Rudor because he lost a bet. But, you know, the Inquisitor is easily the one that everybody takes. So, why are people going to buy multiple of these? Well, if you give it moving wings, people might buy another one. So, that's, that's, a, that's a possibility. All right, number six. Number six is the Star Vipers. This was one I think people from the get go, people were like, they needed to give this collapsible uh, wings. They, they, it, it, you know, it's like this. It needs to be able to go whoosh and whoosh, you know, and that should be real easy for them with the technology they have now, with the uh, the, the procedures that they've coming up with now. This should be no problem, easily done. Uh, Star Viper is a good enough ship now as it is. I'm sure it's going to be a strong ship in 2.0. So I can, you know, people are going to probably want to buy a couple anyway. But man, you give you give this thing, you give this thing them folding wings. It's you're going to be all over it. Absolutely, would be very excited to see the Star Viper with folding wings because so many people have modded these already. And that's one of the things you can look at. What are people modding? You know, do that. You know, I'm not suggesting FFG is going to put like LED lights, you know, in the Falcon or whatever, but. Um, you know, yeah. All right, next up, the HWK. This was, like, I think the first ship. And we're at number five right now, so we're getting pretty close to this list, you know. The HWK 290, I think, was the first one people are said, whoa, that's not in the right scale. Um, this ship was just too small, and it needed to be bigger. And I know that there was some conflicting stuff, and that was kind of some of the problem they had with Legends. But they have a medium base now. It don't have to go straight up large base. This would make a perfect medium base ship, and and you could get it, you know, 50% larger without necessarily making it uh, a large base ship. I mean, it's a it's a freaking smuggling freighter, you know, ship, and it doesn't need to be like about the same size as an A-wing, you know. It's you know, especially if you imagine like I, sometimes I look at these ships and I imagine like the little dudes that would have to go inside here, and these dudes are half the size of the other little dudes, you know. So all them little dudes, like, what do you even need windows in there? You can barely fit one person. They'd have to lay like down, and they'd take up the whole cockpit. And then when you watch like Dark Forces and you see them like, you know. They have all this room in, in in their ship, and they're like, no, 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 no. You couldn't even you couldn't even fit a, a drink. You couldn't even fit a cup of coffee in your cockpit if this is the size of it. So this one definitely needs to be redone. Um, and uh, and I'm I'm really actually, despite the, the the sculpt itself, I'm curious to see what they'll do with it because this was one of their biggest regrets and one of their earliest regrets, giving this guy a primary attack of one. Promise you, I could almost, I would almost bet you, it's not going to have a primary attack of one. But I'm not here to talk about mechanics and stats. I'm here to talk about sculpts. So HWK290 is at number five. The next one, number four, is a combo, and it's a combo for number four, number three, and number two. So number four, number three, and number two are all coming to you together. It's the ghost, and and it's and it's the three ships that I think all need to be redesigned collectively and it's the ghost the phantom and the phantom 2 all three of those need to be collaboratively redesigned so that you can actually dock them you can actually dock them in there um this was something that people were modding this was a huge missed opportunity because it wouldn't be that hard and plus dudes like how many ghosts do you need i've already got two i ain't buying a third unless 
unless they let me to actually dock my ships in there, that would be phenomenal. And it wouldn't even be that hard if you really think about it. Um, you know, you just rem you already have one in there. The hardest part of doing this would be taking the attack shuttle, the Phantom, and making its wings actually fold up, which really shouldn't be that hard. It might be delicate. It might be delicate. I understand it. And you can do it two different ways. You can actually make them fold up. That might increase the point, the price point. Or you just make them pop off or slide out or something like that. Just have them completely detachable wings. They don't necessarily have to fold up like they do in the show. Just have them where they come off. You know, maybe snap in or, or, or a slide system where they slot. You know, you're like, oh, all right, let me pull off the wings. And then, all right, let me slide the wings back in. You know, as simple as that. Um, you know, and, and, and here's the thing, like if that were to raise the price point of it, would you guys, like if that was an extra $10 or even let's say, let's say it was an extra $20, uh, you know, because of the difficulty in doing that, would you pay it? Would, would you want that? Or it, would, would that, or if that, would that increased price make you say, no, no, I'm okay with not being able to actually dock my ship? Um, cause I, th I mean, I personally, I would, you know, I, I would go even a little bit higher than that just because I don't want to sit there and hollow it all out myself. And I just love the idea of it being more authentic because that's one of the things that's so great about these games is that they're so close, you know, uh, that they're so accurate. Uh, they're really nice. Phantom two, I think it could probably fit in there as is. They may have to adjust the, the overall size on it by a, a one or 2% just to make sure that it fits. Might have to make the ghost a tiny bit bigger too. Might maybe even have to give it a, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do it, but I just think it should be done. Like, I didn't ever think they would do S foils moving on X wings, but here we are. So hey, if they can do that, then you know what? This is my wish list. So okay, so that was uh, and and, and on a similar note, if they ever do a, a Kessel Run Falcon, same thing goes. I want the mini to actually be able to physically slide into the Falcon and then physically slide off. I, that one I didn't put in this list because it's not a ship in X-Wing right now, That, or at least that version is not a ship that's even in the game. So I'm not speculating ships at this point. I'm just saying out of what's in the game, what could they redo? What could they remorph? So let's jump to my number one, the B-Wing. There's a lot. In, 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 first off, the B-Wing's at number one because it's my favorite ship. But not only that, there's multiple there's, there's like three different things I think they could do with this ship that, that would be cool. First off is the S-Foils. B-Wing, you know, it, 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 the S-Foils go up and go down. Um, that's not the biggest deal in the world, but it shouldn't be that hard for them. Uh, I don't think it'll be that hard. might be a little bit, I mean, it, it'll be about the same as, uh, as when they did the TIE Striker. You know, like the Klingon Bird of Prey. You just, just a little hinge. It's not a big deal. And, and, and I don't care if I have to pay more for it. I, I love the B-Wing. Next thing is... Um, you know, that static pose where it's just, the, the, the stick is just glued right into the, the back of the thing. So it's stuck flying straight up. Like, this is one of the most heavily modified ships. Ever. At the beginning, when I got into X-Wing, everybody who was playing X-Wing was modifying their B-Wings to be sideways. Because that's the way you always saw them. You always saw them, I mean, you saw them this way a little bit. But then they were all kinds of different directions. Sideways, diagonal, 45 degrees, you know, 20 degrees. All kinds of different, you know. So, so give it that, that a fixation where it can actually freely rotate about. Like that, that, that just seems like a no brainer. Absolutely do it. Or at least give it a sideways pose. Like it, in Armada, the B-Wings are at a 45 degree angle. That's, that's better than this because that's more accu accurately represents the dynamic flight pose. To whereas here it's just like, I'm getting ready to go into combat. You know, like, like no, I want to see them like, you know, like more like I see them in the movies, and then the third thing they could do is also give them the gyroscopic cockpit. Let that swivel as well. A lot of people I know stuck magnets in there, sawed it off. I tried it on one, didn't work so well because I got magnets that were too large, and then uh, then I had to just glue it back on, and I glued it sideways. Um, so I you know, and I I bought a lot of B wings and I wrecked most of them. Uh, trying to get them just right and stuff because you know I, I didn't know what I was doing when I started out and clearly I should have uh, asked for some help at the time but I had fun you know and that's kind of how you learn sometimes so yeah there's a lot they can do with the B-Wings give them the S-Foils moving uh, let them let them just you know swivel freely and then let the cockpit compensate you know it's for the for the swiveling for the freely 
free swivel. As a matter of fact, an easier way for them to do that is just attach this uh, the cockpit to to the flight stand. So then then you know the cockpit can just always be straight, and then you just move the whole ship around and just have it to be the cockpit that uh, that is static. Easy, easy. If they did that, I'd be even okay with the not having the S foils. But I want it all because this is a wish list. But let me hear what you guys think. There is another round of the giveaway going on right now. So if you would like to win a $20 Cool Stuff gift card for a gaming expansion of your choice, all you have to do is become a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that, guys. So uh, I invite you all to enter. Let's get some uh, let's get some gift cards coming out for everybody because everybody likes free stuff. I love giving it out to you guys, and I definitely appreciate all the support. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little bell for alerts all the way down there in the corner so you don't miss out when I come out with new content. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.